you turned a robbery into a murder. And on that day, when you stood there and fired that weapon, you didn't just end one life. You effectively ended five lives, including your own. Like I just said, you, you need to understand that when we say life in Florida State Prison, that means life. It is necessarily without parole. Florida abolished parole. You know, as the song says, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. You will spend the rest of your life in prison. From here, you will go and be placed in a cell that has a stainless steel lab that's attached to the wall. That's your bed. And next to it is a stainless steel sink and a stainless steel toilet. That's the furniture that you have in that cell. You'll spend every hour and every day and every week and every year of your life in that cell. And one day, they'll come and open up that cell in the morning and you'll have passed on. And only on that day will you observe your sentence. Jose Duane Ricardo Onfroy, known by his stage name XXX Tentacion, is one of the most influential artists in the music industry. He rose to fame as a rapper and singer, known for his emotionally charged and genre-blurring music. X's life, however, was suddenly cut short on June 18, 2018, when he was shot and killed in a fatal robbery, at the age of 20, for $50,000. His murder, having taken place in Deerfield Beach, Florida, shocked the music industry and his fan base. The aftermath of his death saw a surge in the success of his music, making him one of the few artists to achieve posthumous chart-topping success. Welcome back to the exhilarating world of True Crime Expresso, where we cover solved and unsolved crimes and brooding mysteries from all corners of the planet. From the glittering stages to the haunting silence of a crime scene, we will uncover the secrets, expose the motives, and shed light on the unanswered questions surrounding the murder of Rapstar X and how his music changed the world forever. XXX Tentacion was born on January 23, 1998, in Plantation, Florida, to Jamaican parents, Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy and Cleopatra Aretha Drina Bernard. His given name was inspired by the legendary Bob Marley song Soja Say, which draws from Ezekiel 34. It's also worth noting that both Onfroy's father and grandfather were Rastafarians. However, X was born with a ventricular septal defect, commonly referred to as a hole in the heart, which limited his physical growth never surpassing a height of 5 feet 6 inches. In a 2017 interview on The Beat, X also mentioned potential Egyptian, Syrian, Indian, and Italian ancestry. His early love for music was due to his aunt, who encouraged him to join the school choir, a path that later led him to the church choir. Unfortunately, his time in the school choir was short-lived due to a fight with a fellow student. X's education journey continued at Margate Middle School, though he was eventually expelled due to a series of physical altercations. Following his expulsion, his mother enrolled him in Sheridan House Family Ministries for a long while. During his time there, X's musical tastes expanded to include rap, metal, and hard rock, which then inspired him to learn to play the piano and guitar. Following his release from the juvenile hall, X started his music journey, making his debut on SoundCloud in 2013. What set him apart was his unconventional approach to rap music, using pieces like distortion and heavy guitar-backed instrumentals. Drawing inspiration from genres like third-wave emo and grunge, he carved a unique path in the music industry. In 2014, he co-founded the underground collective known as Members Only, and together with fellow members, he rapidly rose to fame within the SoundCloud rap scene, characterized by its fusion of lo-fi music and hard-hitting 808s. His breakthrough came with the release of the single, Look At Me, propelling him into the mainstream. His debut album, Seventeen, released in 2017, got a triple platinum certification in the US and hit the second spot on the Billboard 200 chart. The success continued with his second album titled Question Mark in 2018, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and earned quintuple platinum status in the US. The album's lead single, Sad, reached the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart posthumously. And by November 2021, it had gotten over 1.3 billion views on YouTube and 1.7 billion streams on Spotify. Additionally, SAD received diamond certification from the RIAA in August 2021, solidifying his grand influence on the music industry. X's life was marred by a series of legal troubles with one of the biggest controversies stemming from battery charges filed against him in 2016. These legal issues and allegations of violence became a defining aspect of his legacy for some. However, others have taken a different perspective, arguing that his later efforts to improve his character represent a story of second chances and redemption. 
On the fateful day of June 18, 2018, X visited a Bank of America branch to withdraw money before making his way to Riva Motorsports, a high-end dealership specializing in motorcycles and boats located in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Following his withdrawal, he was chased by a dark-colored Dodge Journey SUV carrying Dedrick Williams, Robert Allen, Michael Boatwright, and Trayvon Newsom. X was unaware he was being followed. It was premeditated. The police discovered that Dedrick Williams had crossed paths with X at a probation office in January 2018, which likely led him to recognize X's car that day. As the three were in the rental Dodge Journey, Williams spotted X's vehicle in the Riva Motorsports parking lot and suggested to the others that they make sure that X was inside the car. At approximately 3.30 p.m., X arrived at Riva Motorsports with his step-uncle, Leonard Kerr. Surveillance footage showed that Robert Allen and Dedrick Williams followed X into the store, passing him as he looked at motorcycles. Inside the store, they bought two black masks. Nearly 30 minutes later, X left the dealership, got into his black BMW i8, and began to drive away. The SUV blocked X's way, preventing his exit, while Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boatwright got off their vehicle carrying firearms and demanding the chain X was wearing. A brief but intense struggle ensued, during which Boatwright and Newsom repeatedly struck X. In the middle of the chaos, X's step-uncle fled the car, leaving the door open. The struggle persisted, with X in a state of confusion, repeatedly asking, What is this for? When Newsom failed to take the chain from Onfroy's neck, he dashed to the passenger side of Onfroy's car, where the door was left open. He snatched his Louis Vuitton bag, which had a sum of $50,000 in it. After the robbery was seemingly over, Michael Boatwright, one of the perpetrators, took a step back from X's car, clutching his rifle. Boatwright locked eyes with X and fired multiple shots, taking the young artist's life. Following the murder, the perpetrators quickly fled the scene in the Dodge journey. During the subsequent trial, accomplice Robert Allen recounted that Newsom had questioned Boatwright about why he shot X. Boatwright's claimed motive was an attempt to grab his gun, though this assertion was never substantiated. Jase Onfroy was pronounced dead around 5.30 p.m. on that same day. This shooting took place east of the city of Parkland, where X was residing at the time. The Broward County Fire Department rushed him to nearby Broward Health North, where paramedics briefly managed to revive a pulse, but it could not be sustained. In the wake of X's death, the Broward County Sheriff's Office announced a $3,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest of the suspects. At first, suspicions swirled around local Florida rappers Soldier Kid and Soldier Jojo due to their Instagram posts that appeared to align with witness reports. However, these allegations were dropped when Dedrick Williams and Michael Boatwright were arrested. The arrest unfolded during a traffic stop, with Williams driving his silver 2004 Honda at the time. A car chase led to Williams' detention. The police identified Williams based on the clothing he was wearing on the day of the murder, including distinctive orange sandals and a white tank top. They corroborated their findings by comparing security footage images with recent pictures from Williams' Instagram feed, which often featured the same or similar bright orange sandals. Additionally, employees at the scene had seen Williams enter Riva Motorsports to purchase a neoprene mask. Following Williams' arrest, two more active warrants were issued. On June 27, 22 year old Robert Allen was named as a person of interest in the case. The investigation into X's tragic murder continued to yield arrests and evidence. On July 5, 22 year old Michael Boatwright was taken into custody by the Broward County Sheriff's Office on drug related charges. However, on July 10, while in jail, detectives visited Boatwright and showed him an arrest warrant for premeditated first degree murder in connection with X's death. It was also discovered that Boatwright had conducted web searches on his phone, including phrases such as accessory to murder and XXX tentacion shortly after the murder. Robert Allen later revealed that Boatwright's search for accessory to murder was an attempt to reassure him, believing that he could only be charged as an accessory to murder since he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. However, it was determined that Boatwright was the person responsible for fatally shooting X. Subsequently, the three individuals, Dedrick Williams, Robert Allen, and Michael Boatwright, were indicted by a grand jury, alongside a fourth individual, in connection with the murder of X. On August 7th, yet another arrest was made when 20-year-old Trayvon Newsom was taken into custody. Dedrick Williams faced serious charges in connection with X's murder, including dangerous and depraved first-degree murder, 
as well as a probation violation. He was denied bail. On June 25th, he entered a plea of not guilty to the charges. It's worth noting that Williams had a history of prior arrests. During Williams' interrogation, there was a big shift in his statements. At first, he denied any involvement in the killing, but later expressed remorse, admitting that the incident had caused him sleepless nights. He expressed his fear of being labeled a snitch as the reason for not confessing earlier. Michael Boatwright's legal situation also evolved. On July 10th, he was arrested and formally charged with premeditated first-degree murder by the Broward County Sheriff's Office. He had been initially arrested on unrelated drug charges on July 5th before these more serious charges were brought against him. The investigation continued to yield results as a third suspect, Robert Allen, age 22, was taken into custody on July 25th. He was charged with premeditated first-degree murder after U.S. Marshals located him at his sister's residence in rural Georgia. Allen was then booked in Dodge County, Georgia, and was held without bond, as requested by the Broward County Sheriff's Office warrant. On August 7th, the Broward County Sheriff's Office made an announcement on Twitter, revealing that Trayvon Newsom, age 20, had been taken into custody shortly before 5 p.m. He was booked on charges of premeditated first-degree murder and robbery with a deadly weapon. X's father, Dwayne Onfroy, has been vocal about his wishes for the penalties faced by the individuals involved in his son's tragic murder. He has expressed a desire for the death penalty for the suspected shooter and life in prison without the possibility of parole for the suspected accomplices. In Florida, where the suspects are being charged, first-degree murder convictions make individuals eligible for capital punishment. However, the prosecution eventually opted to seek life in prison without the possibility of parole instead of pursuing the death penalty. On August 12, 2022, Robert Allen pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of second-degree murder as part of an agreement to provide testimony against the other three defendants. More recently, in October 2022, there were claims made by Michael Boatwright's attorneys regarding his competence to stand trial. They requested the appointment of psychological experts to assess Boatwright's legal competence. However, he was declared mentally competent to stand trial. On January 17, 2023, the judge ruled that X's past criminal history and personal character were irrelevant to the crime and would not be permitted as subjects of discussion during the trial. This ruling wanted to make sure that the trial focused only on the specific events and charges related to the murder. The trial officially began on February 7, 2023. On March 20, 2023, a verdict was reached, finding all three defendants, Dedrick Williams, Robert Allen, and Michael Boatwright, guilty on all counts. On April 6, 2023, they were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. In the wake of X's death, there was enormous outpouring of grief and remembrance. Fans and local residents created a makeshift memorial featuring lyrics from the artist and heartfelt words written in chalk, stretching up to a hundred yards. The owner of Riva Motorsports, where the incident took place, organized a vigil on June 18, 2018, which drew hundreds of mourners. A walk in honor of X's memory also took place, with his fans coming together to pay their respects. X's house in Parkland, Florida, which was under construction at the time, became a site of remembrance by fans. Adam22, the creator of the podcast No Jumper, where X had his first professional interview, organized a memorial in front of his BMX retail store on some shit on Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles. Initially attended by 354 people, the gathering eventually swelled to over a thousand, prompting a response from the police in riot gear to disperse the crowd. Reports showed that rubber bullets and tear gas were used in the process. An open casket service to honor X took place at the BB&T Center in Sunrise, Florida, on June 27. A private funeral followed a day later, attended by famous figures in the music industry, including rappers Lil Uzi, Lil Yachty, Lil Pump, Denzel Curry, and singer Erica Badu, who came together to remember their colleague and friend. X was laid to rest in a gray mausoleum at the gardens of Boca Raton Memorial Park, located in Boca Raton, Florida, marking the final resting place of the talented young artist. His music also went through a remarkable resurgence. On June 19th, just one day after his passing, Billboard reported that his track Sad had broken Taylor Swift's Spotify single-day streaming record with over 10.4 million streams compared to Swift's 10.1 million for Look What You Made Me Do. X's second album, which had previously charted at number 19, 
was expected to make a dramatic return to the top five in the week of his death, eventually reaching number three with 90,000 album equivalent units sold, a huge increase from the 19,000 units sold in the prior week. In the week following his murder, his highest charting single Sad ascended from the 52nd to the first position on the Billboard Hot 100, making him the first artist to posthumously top the Hot 100 in a lead role since the notorious B.I.G. with Mo Money Mo Problems in 1997. On June 28, X's management team released the music video for Sad, which got over 155 million views, while the audio of the song reached over 1.9 billion listens on Spotify. The case of X was marked by tragedy and legal proceedings, but it also showcased the huge influence of his music and the strong bond he had with his fans. Rest in peace, X.